All right, hello everybody, and welcome, welcome. back to the channel. No, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> <You're gone>. I, <laughs> um, this welcome back to uh, Tub Takes. Let's say video con video podcast where we go over what's been making waves in the VGC scene. Today, I am joined by Adi. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm. Uh, we've also got Nails. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And we've got John. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And while Adi and I might be the most uh, recurring guests, I think we've roped Nails and John getting in here uh, more than, like, just about anybody else, except maybe, like, Burns yeah, or something. Yeah, we're, we're the backup backups. Yeah, so you could almost call I them think, I think, too. I think these guys have been on more than Justin. I think these guys are three and four on the list. Oh, yeah. Do you actually have a list? Uh, oh, no. 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 You're just saying on the list. Okay. Anyways. Um, yeah, this will be... Is this the last, last time John's going to be on? The comments. Uh, it's likely this will be the last time I'll be on, unless... Uh, I wonder if that's going to work. I don't think we have dedic enough dedicated fans to, to get a list to just appear in the comments by, like, requesting it. it. Yeah, yeah. We only have fake fans, like, you know. Um, yeah, fake fans. Anyway, um... Yeah, we are uh, going to be here talking about the uh, the latest happenings in the VGC scene and uh, tournaments and stuff. Talking about uh, upcoming tournaments, past tournaments, and uh, basically the metagame in general. We're also going to be answering your questions, so if you uh, want to participate, feel free to ask anything in the chat. And we'll keep up and uh, get to it when we find appropriate. Uh, lastly, this is going to be on YouTube on Wednesday, so if you... Um, if you can't stick around for the whole thing, feel free to check out the rest of it on YouTube uh, on Wednesday. Uh, CK49 there in the Twitch chat. And uh, with that, I guess let's go ahead and dive right into the first bit of uh, stuff. We have just a couple of tournament signups to talk about. Um, I actually didn't even look at these. I just dropped these in and I'm just opening them up. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yes, that one that. regional. Uh, how, oh, the let's pop, popcorn. No, 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 no. That one regional signup. Um, the the uh Nick, how do you say it? Good thanks. Oh, John um, John threw himself into the fire. John, what do you got? Dance? Good good thanks. Good thanks. That's uh, the one. Yeah. Everybody's What's everybody's the, uh... heading towards uh good thanks. Uh or... what's, the, what's the accent on the end mean? I've seen I've seen accents on vowels. I've never seen a No, you see accent on any a lot in like Spanish, right? But maybe yeah, it's a different, no, it's a different it's accent. It's a different it's a accent. Day. It's day. Uh, you're right. Uh anyway. Um so, yeah, there's uh, sign-ups for this one. Um, I don't know when this tournament actually occurs. It probably... Is it all the way in November? It is okay. September 20... Sorry, that's that's the day that we're... Yeah, yeah, it's so it's right down here below this major VGC event. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. Uh, so this is going to be... 25-26. It's, it's the same day as the other regional that's having sign-ups, which is Brisbane. Whoa! Um, which is also on the same day. Oh, Brisbane's on the same day, sign-ups on the same day, huh? Mm -hmm. maybe yeah different times so if you're going to both it won't overlap thankfully if you will be <laughs> planning on being in you, you hear that pengi it won't overlap you're good <laughs> pengi oh, no God. not like this man um and then uh so yeah those I mean, there's those two so this is probably just not going to be running simultaneously if you've got the teleporter you can make both you probably could it's true it's um, true we got to go back to gen one for that tm bro Oh man, teleport um, would actually be really cool in VGC if we were allowed to use it at like cool Pokemon. Huh. Yeah, I know. Mainly, mainly like one of the years Arcanine, like in like seventeen, if we got a te teleport Arcanine, that would have been so nuts. <laughs> the negative priority teleport switch. Arc. Let's go teleport Arc. I wore myself out, boys. Let's go. <laughs> um. So yeah. Um. Then one more non-official tournament. Those two are official. Going to be part of the actual circuit. East Coast is hosting its tournament this weekend, I think. Mm -hmm. um, in NYC. Um, it's got some weird uh, weird tournament structure. Uh, I know people were talking about it, but um, mainly it's regulation E. Uh, it's got a pretty sizable prize pool. It's going to have some good commentary. It's going to be a very good uh, event to watch uh, for people that won't be attending. I don't think anybody here is going to be attending that one, but Definitely a good... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Is this weekend? It's this weekend. It's this weekend. Like, just Saturday or is it two-day? 
Or it says it's two days. It's two days. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So there'll be a second. I could, I could have pulled it up, but I just wanted you guys to go over it. <laughs> it is. It is sadly uh, also completely capped. Um, I'm pretty sure it's capped. I think you can get a VIP entrance if you want, but like, yeah, it, uh, there might be, there might be um, a place for you to go and watch it if you want to go meet Wolf uh, and and other people. I know Bloody's going. I know Jody's going. Chapel will um, be there. No, I believe. Moxie Boost is going. Um, so yeah, so a lot of a lot of big names. Joe's going to be there. Uh, it looks like Nino's going to be there. Yeah, like a lot, a lot of, a lot of cool people. But um, yeah, and I think, I think you might be out of luck if you're trying to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess this is more so a uh, announcement of a stream upcoming that'll definitely be something we'll be talking about next weekend because a lot of strong name, uh, big name players uh, that are playing in it, and we're going to want to look at what they're uh, cooking for Regulation E. So, um, yeah, we'll be looking forward heard to that. that I'm playing in, in a in a northeastern VGC tournament. This year, and you missed Pittsburgh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is, this uh, is the last one. Attempt to make this last one, baby. Um, man, did, I don't think there's anything actually to talk about regarding it. But over this past weekend, wasn't it the um? Didn't Pokemon Challenges run the makeup tour for Worlds thing? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you even know results for that. I don't even know if it was streamed or if it was more so recorded for like a video later. I don't know. Probably that. Probably that. Um, <laughs> it was regulation D. So is that um, Gavin uh, went O two, like the the or the idea of the tournament was like give the players who got DQ'd um, or got owned by like the disconnects um, disconnection errors. Um, to give them a chance to just play Pokemon. And Gavin went 0 2 with a loss to a team sheet error and a loss to um, some other. No, the other one was didn't Michael their best get uh, a disconnect game loss? No, wait, no. Michael had a disconnect in um, in top 16. Yeah, and he right? got a disconnect uh, loss he... in the, the Pokemon Challenge tournament, is what I heard. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even know he played in that. I yeah, it was affected. So I, yeah, I guess so. The, the judges were um, apparently uh, handing out penalties. I am not commenting on whether they were deserved or not, but it is hilarious given the the tour's um, like goal of letting people play Pokemon who didn't get a chance to uh, like show their stuff at Worlds. Yeah, well, I'll have to see if uh, all this is true or the, the not. The bot is up. I did find. I do. I do. I do know the results, but. I'm sure I'll make a video with it, and I'm, it's probably worth watching the video. So yeah, yeah, it, it's like it's regulation D content. I mean, this is regulation D content. Let's talk about it really quick, though. This was an actual regional, I guess. So I got the the big prize money. Mm -hmm. I saw that in the yep. listing. So I, that's uh, the one. Um, yeah, the uh, Curitiba regional uh, over in Brazil. Uh, this was mega capped. Uh, it only had 93 players in the Masters division. Um, I don't even know what they did about younger divisions if they were even allowed to play. Um, but it was won by Nader Albaca uh, with just a uh, a Dozo team. Um, Dozo, Dozo, I guess, baby. making the comeback. Uh, we've got Chiyu, Flutter, Glim, Dozo, Torn, and uh, Tatsugiri, of course, for the Dozo. So, yeah. <laughs> Man, now Whoever's that I can the see the, is doing a great job. Now that I can see the uh, the soundboard <laughs> images on the camera, it's just that much better. Um, oh, true, true, true. Yeah, I yeah, I don't know what to say about this. Like, I don't honestly, I don't know what to say about a lot of these. As regulation D is coming to an end, and everyone wants to talk about regulation E. Um, looking through the teams, though, um, we did see like that crazy hard trick room team down in seventh that. Mm -hmm. uh, has been trying to make that Bruxish work, and I mean Bruxish earned a thou Bruxish earned a thousand dollars. Uh, man, I sound British when I'm saying this Pokemon's name Bruxish. Um, it, it earned money. Paul Ruiz's team, I think, is actually pretty cool. It looks like he changed it up. I believe he had a Roaring Mood, uh, and so Chen Pao might be the new replacement there. But seems like a solid team. Um, Everybody loves Bobo Max Ben 10 with the uh, the Gastrodon King Gambit. Uh, Dragonite, it's like a relatively interesting composition uh, for a known ladder warrior. And uh, otherwise, he, yeah. Okay, he, for what it's worth, we, we call him a ladder warrior. He was a ladder warrior for a long time. But like, I think he's done well at every single Brazilian regional that they've had since COVID. So like, he's, he's kind of converted. Okay, okay. 
Hell yeah. Converted. Who is a ladder warrior, though? You can yeah, yeah, yeah. What's a ladder warrior? Always a ladder warrior is the thing. Audi. It's true. Like the, the... It's true. It and, a bit of a, and as far as I remember, a keyboard warrior, too. So, um, <laughs> the, what's funny, though, is if you go down to the other teams, uh, I just like, I mean, you know, shout outs to uh, Victory Road for organizing the Pokemon. It makes it really easy to kind of just like go down a line and see, like, Urshifu, 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 um and yeah if you go up top there's actually only three that i think made it into cut but like outside of cut it looks like this mod was at like 80 <laughs> um yeah I'm i was about to one, say like two Hold it on. didn't have a good cut conversion but it was used quite a bit outside of five. like just outside of cut so five out of you know. 32 didn't have it so that means uh sorry five out of 24 so 19 19 out of 24 that's pretty crazy yeah, twenty-two um, out of thirty-two is yeah, twenty-two out of thirty-two is um, it's like sixty percent ish. Yeah, a lot, a lot of Urshifu, but uh, didn't quite convert as high as its usage was. Um, you, you, do you want to know something crazy? Hmm. Uh, I'm looking at Iron Hands now because Iron Hands is you know the the alternative to Urshifu as far as fighting types goes. No one between twenty-two and thirty-two had an Iron Hands. I am seeing. That. Like, yeah, where do you go? The, Where's the big guy? It was probably He's the so top awesome. used mod. It was probably the top used mod in the top 21, I think, other than Fluttermane. And then um, it's just nowhere. It just disappeared. If you want to go 4 3, don't use Iron Hands. It did have <laughs> a fine 4 for, or 5 for 8 in the top cut. So, yep. um, didn't win the tournament, though. Um, and then, of course, we're just kind of blind to seeing Fluttermane here, but you can do the same thing by going down the left line and seeing Fluttermane, 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 Fluttermane. Um, that seems like a bit less of a tongue twister, though, than saying Urshifu a bunch of times fast. John, go. Say Urshifu a bunch of times fast. Urshifu, Urshifu. He made it one. He only got one. Ursaluna, 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 Ursaluna. It's easier to say Ursaluna. Urshifu, 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 Urshifu. It became like a a sludge of tones after the fourth one. Um, Yeah, so I mean, this is... Is this the... Okay. Is this the last time I'm talking about Regulation D? Please. Please tell me. Yes. I don't know, man. Is it? Yes. This next weekend will be... Oh, I guess technically if we had a tournament next weekend, it would be Regulation D, but no. We don't have people, one. There, people there, are there, talking about uh, locals coming up. Um, we do have locals, mm-hmm. but I think they'll be in but, Reggie. Well, you cannot no. host a local until October 1st, so it has to be in Reggie. Fair, yeah. fair, fair, fair. Okay, because like October 1st is a Sunday, and so we might see some uh, October 1st uh, mid-seasons and premier challenges or whatnot uh, run mm-hmm. into Regulation D format. Of course, we're not going to be breaking down those tournaments all across the nation unless they get like 100 plus participants or something and we have known results but uh where's well, my, where's my 60 the, man pc uh, man? If, if it's a slow week we can uh, we can cover them <laughs> as, that's long as, I, as long as uh, i have a good I graphic something to talk about if i have a good graphic yeah. i'll i'll talk about anything um don't want to make um, any oh, Alex, you to the October right, that, that happened yesterday next week yeah i think we're going to cover it locals if we have content to talk about that's fair like the first locals coming back is also kind of hype what were you saying though yeah. mm-hmm. i was gonna say are you going to the october 1st chicago local oh yes Ooh. i'll uh, i'll be there uh so everyone yep. in chicago come say hi um i'll be wearing a hat and a shirt um my my tra- my trademark backpack you know just look out for me if you see a guy wearing a hat <laughs> shirt and a backpack just tap me say hi um and yeah i I, whatever we'll take a picture i'll sign your shit yeah um okay (laughs) moving on um i think that's it for regulation d so regulation e we're gonna start off with the move tutors uh unless people would rather me read a genshin impact walkthrough and guide um out loud that sounds that sounds bars Uh, i don't even know how to play the game um so yeah it's either that or we talk about the move tutor moves. Vote now on your phones. Uh, first up, we have Roar. Is that actually coming back? I guess it wasn't in the game before. Um, yeah. But Roar's kind of completely useless right now because of guard dog Okie Dogie. So moving on. Um, wow. You're invalidated by one. Don't tell Danny Void though. Um, <laughs> don't tell Jamie. Uh, Charge. Nothing much to say there. Haze coming back. I don't know if anything got on any major uh, distribution with Haze. Um, I do know that Dusclops is a returning Pokemon that has Haze, so another option if you're looking to get clear boosts or mess with Dondozo. 
Um, um, I mean, I know Malatik gets haze. I think Empoleon got haze. It does, I'm yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of Pokemon got haze. Um, Spectre. Um, I wish I could click these but, and it would take me to like the Cerebi page, but you should you should just look at the Cerebi page. Does it have the TMs though? I couldn't find that one. I'll Google it. Yeah, well, it's it's it. I can link the TMs. Yeah, um, just give me a look. I, I'm posting it in chat. <laughs> in chat, nice. All right. In chat, uh, it's it's if you scroll down to 172, it starts. Got it. There. So just start there, and then I can click on them. Yeah. All right. Word. This one also gives me the effects in case I forgot what the moves do. Um, okay, so then, uh, God, the I'm gonna have to highlight them so people can read it through, through this uh, text vomit. But um, toxic. That's probably the first big one to come back. But also for us in the VGC scene, it's like not massive. Um, it really depends on the format. If you have a 17 like format, that's pretty slow and. Um... You, it just takes a while to kill stuff, and people are trying to play defensively. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, but also, it's not a team available on everything, so you can't run it on your Arcanine or your Porygon 2. You just kind of get to run it on the things that learn it. It's got okay distribution, but like if you're really trying to do that, then you're probably just supposed to be doing Glamour things, because that guy's so much more efficient at spreading toxic. He's very He's very compression for poison span. So. Yeah. I mean, even even at that point, you're it's, like it's just, hoping you can run like toxic chain, lousy three guys, and then oh yeah, um, that's also an option, is right? I think a like kind of cool budget Glamora. It does like different things. It has access to roost, but I think Pokey Doge can do snarl toxic chain if you're not doing guard dog stuff on an assault dust uh, set. You're mm -hmm. probably supposed to be guard dog, and it's yeah. probably uh, supposed to be guard it's, dog. And... It's hard to give um, up the plus one attack on intimidate. Uh, yeah. However, the so, uh, the monkey. Hard. The monkey has Frisk, and so you can just run Toxic Chain because Frisk is pointless in open team sheet, and just, like, mm. go for Fake Out and occasionally Toxic them. It's just like, oh, how fun. <laughs> yeah, until you Fake Out the Mon, and you tried to put it to sleep, and now it's suddenly poisoned. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> not everybody's clicking Fake Out Hypnosis like you, John. No, I'm <laughs> clicking Fake Out Sleep Powder. Oh, that's a little bit better. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot. <laughs> you could have gone worse. It said Sing. Um... <laughs> he clicks Fake Out Blizzard, and he hits. Oh, and then I froze it, except I didn't because it was poisoned. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So they're like, I guess the Unsparse gets toxic. Whoa. Cool. Whoa. Um, yeah. That, Cloud that's Sire. Just... Cloud Sire gets it. Yeah. Cloud I think Sire. it always got it. Actually. I think Cloud Sire like... always had it. Cloud Sire definitely won um, that by level. Man. Mandibuzz is probably the most interesting one that gets it. Umbreon uh, is also kind of cool. Good anymore, but... but yes, it is back. <laughs> Anyways, back, we talked about Mandibuzz, Mandibuzz last time. Let's go. So, yeah, a lot of Pokemon, I mean, and like the, it just doesn't really match the pace of the format currently. Gravity, um, we've seen a number of Gravity Pokemon. I think the main ones, uh, Clefairy and Dusclops, um, aren't exactly new Pokemon getting it because uh, they're like returning guys, I should say. So it doesn't feel like we're getting something Gravity on a Pokemon that was already in the format. Um, however, I think Sandy Shocks already already had it. Yeah, already um, had Sandy it. Shocks already had it. The only the only had. real relevant user is Sableye because of yes. Prankster, and then the other too. ones are like it's a flex slot if you have space on the set. Mm -hmm. You can run it on Crest, but that guy's got a lot of good moves. He has a lot of. She has a lot of moves. Crest has got too many moves, but deep. yeah, I agree with John. Sableye is probably the funniest option to run Gravity on. Yeah. Uh, if you're if you're really trying for like gravity uh, super inaccurate move spam, I think it's like you have to pick Sableye because there's just like no other faster options really. And then like it's fake out immune and it has screens, so it's like it's mm. pretty pretty good for for what it's doing. One last shout for uh, Giraffe, just being a trick room priority denying Pokemon that also can set gravity. If that's something you're looking to do, I was gonna say Dusclops is also a guy that can click trick room and yeah. click gravity. Fair. Yep. Also, apparently, indeed, male gets it, and not indeed, female. Actually, I'm not even sure about that. That is, that is correct. That, that's what shout on suggests. We'll see how long that lasts. Um, <laughs> before... Until they were, until they released the bug design, indeed, female. The bug raid. Um, Smack. Yeah, only the real it. ones. Only the real ones remember Gravity uh, Blissey from Pokemon Battle Revolution in the Master Set Six. I'm sorry, John, but I'm not a real one. I'm gonna I'm be not honest. Real. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fake as they come. Um, Smackdown, Gyro Ball, probably worth skipping, but Knockoff. Knockoff is a massive move to come back. Um, oh, yeah. 
This move's cracked. And so uh, they gave it to um, a lot of Pokemon that, like, enjoy it as well as, like, uh, I don't know. It's literally just, like, on anything. Pokemon that are trying to do damage with it as well as, like, supporters is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, you could run it on, like, Clefairy uh, if you want to just have that be your supporting Pokemon that has a nice utility move. Or you could run it on something like a Roaring Moon or a Tyranitar. Those guys get knocked off now. and um, it's, uh, like, you're just doing, it's giving those Pokemon effectively, like, a move as broken as Moonblast. Isn't that crazy? Moonblast is such a crazy move. Yep. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. great next to Moongus. You can just get rid of the goggles, or Lumberry, if anyone still runs that. Um, it's also great next to and... Flutter. You can get rid of uh, Hand's Assault Vest and make the Flutter just have a much easier time dealing with it. I have been playing a bit of Education E, and I think Knockoff is really, really helpful against Iron Hands, just like in general. Whatever it's holding, it just like, it's basically like making it way, way worse at the cost of like, you know, doing, I don't know, 10%. It's pretty good utility when your other mod then does like 40 more percent. It also just makes so. uh, Iron Hands um, a lot less of a free switch. And if you're clicking Knockoff mm -hmm. into a Pokemon with a threat of doing damage to it, um, and, like, you know, maybe doing way too much. Like, if a Fluttermane needs to switch out because the knockoff is going to KO it, Iron Hands isn't the safest switch in because now it's taking a bit of chip and losing an item, which is a little bit more uh, annoying than just switching out on a dark-type attack. Mm -hmm. At least they did like the other... Chen Pao, though. What were you saying? Chen Pao knockoff. That's true. That's very true. Um, I think the other big winner from knockoff is actually Amoongus, just because, like, you know, the metagame has changed. There's a lot more grass types, so Amoongus is probably... Reducing in usage, but it's still obviously, you know, one of the best mods in the game still. Fluttermane resists on top of that. Iron Hands resist. Um, but now that Knockoff is on Pokemon that aren't Rillaboom, you get to knock off Safety Goggles. And then Namungus is just significantly better Pokemon. Uh, and that was an interaction that I thought was really powerful in Regulation E, but the best Knockoff user was Rillaboom. Um, and now that you have more of them, I think that's another thing that you could play around with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like they, they literally, they did not hold back. I'm scrolling through, and they gave it to like everything. Yeah, they no, they, they, like... they they held back. They gave it to Fundy and Torn, but did not give it to Lando. Oh, Lando yeah. did have that they, in the past, huh? They did use yeah. the app. Um, and that that just seems very clearly like a a little bit of a nerf aimed at Lando. That's definitely part um, of the battle. And Lando's feeling it. You know, Lando's been struggling more than ever with the addition of a bunch of grass types that it can terror blast with. Terror flying. Poor U turn. Poor or, U turn. Uh, rock slide. Poor you know, Lando. Um, Poor one out for Lando, Lando. guys. Uh, they didn't yeah, give it to King Gambit. Gambit. That's true. Pack they it up, Gambit. boys. Pack it up. <laughs> yeah, Gambit would have been uh, kind of crazy if they gave a knockoff. Iron Jungle is getting it. It's pretty cool, unless it already had it. I, I don't think, think it had it. I also don't think it moves the needle on jugs at all. No, no, it's just, like, fun. The the acrobatic set was cool. It was not really a thing for very long, but... Iron, Iron Jucklers already had it, so it does nothing. Got it, yes. That's, that makes okay. sense. Okay, so it does not move the needle at all. Yeah, the needle is the same. Um, we did we did skip over Gyro Ball. I found one relevant user of it, which is Torkoal, um, which can now just go on Fluttermane if it wants to. True. It does get to KO Fluttermane. All right, fair. That's, like, sure. That's, <laughs> it has a flex kind of slot. Amazing, honestly. It's like it's not the worst thing in the world. It is a new move. I guess we could talk about yeah, Gyroball just because it's a move that uh, there's no other users. Okay, fair. I checked. Yeah, <laughs> they, they all suck. Yeah, because like it's a move that really fun. owns Flutter. That's like nice. Uh, like in a meta game that's like still going to be Flutter dominated. Um, it's cool, but no, they gave it to Weezing. They did give it to Weezing. Yeah, if you need to, if you need to hit your uh, hit the fairy type with your Weezing, how you have a move to do that. That's true. Why did they get wait, the problem? Why did they give this to Sableye, bro? Uh, there's there's quite a few issues with it out of them. It's not it. Alright, guys. It's 2017 and bug bites came back. What? This is nuts. Alright, we're gonna move past bug bite. Um I, I don't know. All the all the Scyther fanatics are rejoicing. True. I oh, kinda uh, wanna I wanna stop and talk not. about vacuum wave because they did just like say, Alright, yeah, it's time that more mons got this move. Um, and, like, I, I think everyone was talking about Ursaluna Blood Moon learning it, which is pretty handy, especially because it's, uh, on a scrappy mod. Like, Mind's Eye is fighting moves as well, yes. yes. Um, 
so it can hit a Terra Ghost Pokemon if it uh, if it tries to tear out of it, like a, a Chiyu or a Chen Pao that's on a Sash. Um, and it's also just nice. Also, a Chen Chenpao that's not on a Sash. Yeah, it's really nice. It can just casually do a hundred to Chen Pao if uh, it chooses not to Terra, and it also doesn't have a Sash. Um, but <laughs> I think that's really cool. I think uh, some other cool Pokemon, maybe not in VGC, but just I'm noting that Empoleon gets it now. Like uh, Empoleon's like decent in VGC. I don't know if it's gonna be running. In... Actually, I could see Vacuum Boy fitting on an Assault Vest set for us. So yeah, yeah. maybe priority is yeah. priority. Um, mm -hmm. Aqua Jet competitive kind of... priority. Yeah, we we'll give it. Wait, they give it to Intellion? Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> Empoleon. Uh, oh wait, did they? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah, you can have it, I guess. Uh, yeah. I'm looking at the rest of these, and not a lot to write home about, but I just... They did pick a couple new Pokemon to say, and just said, like, yeah, you know what? Go crazy. I think uh, I think Gardevoir, I mean, not in this metagame with Fluttermane, but, like, in a vacuum, Gardevoir with it is, is pretty cool coverage. There were definitely formats where Gardevoir was viable this year, so... Mm -hmm. Valiant yeah, also cool. enjoys having a priority that's Stab... Iron Valiant. Because mm -hmm. he used to have only Shadow Sneak, I think, and like Faint. I think we can skip Lunge, but let's talk about High Horsepower. Maybe not every single Pokemon that gets it, but more so just like, it's back, and a lot of guys that were missing it will be happy to have it back. Uh, did they give it back to Horse? To Glastrier. They did. I, I think they did that one, yeah. Yeah, Glastrier. Yeah, nice they again. gave it to Snorlax again, so Rillaboom has that oh, option once again. They gave it to Torterra, along with Shell Smash. No, Torterra got Rush Headlong was... Rush, bro. Headlong Rush. Oh, we got Headlong Rush, right? That's the crazy one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is pretty cool. Tauros is, though. Tauros is running high horsepower, BB. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snorlax is happy to maybe, come maybe back Maybe, like, with four, it. four formats ago. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, that's, like, the they most... They give it to Bax, which yeah, it doesn't run it. Oh, I missed Bax. Like, that's it, a big one. It could really run it. Like, it, it is a cool coverage move. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, like... Uh, the utility from Stomping Tantrum uh, on AV backs was pretty cool. Um, just saying Iron Hands doesn't get to fake me out. Um, but on the other hand, high horsepower is like 22% stronger than uh, than Tantrum, and so you just shrug and, and kick him. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's a Titan. If you're like a Titan fanatic, that, that's definitely like a plus. James, where's James? <laughs> The Titans only right. fan. Um, man, there's <laughs> somebody. Fan. There's somebody on the I'm ladder who keeps. Uh, there's like some Titan alt on the show on ladder who's been playing a bit. Anyway, um, Rillaboom so, getting it back it definitely moves the needle on it. Oh, absolutely. Um, we were saying that. Uh, I think. Yeah. All right, I moved on now to Scald. Um, Scald's back. It's nuts. It's Let's crazy. Go Scald. Who did they give Scald to? Oh, it's like to 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 Alamomola, the new the new premier threat in Smog on OU singles. Yes. <laughs> I feel uh, like it probably isn't good, good, for, good enough for that. So we have Slowbro. That's like a real Pokemon that can click Scald and Slow King. But we weren't no, using no, those no, guys. No, we got Vaporeon. Milotic. You have to talk about Milotic. No, Milo it's three times more than I to say his name, but here we are. Yeah, Milo's back, and people love to. It's a very common Pokemon in... on the low ladder because people are like, yep. "Wait, people spam Intimidate. It's such, it's free. Why am I not using Milo? What? It did get Scald though. Like, I mean, like honestly, having Scald versus all the other water types not having Scald, a decent selling point. But it's like at the cost of you're not running maybe like Urshifu or uh, Ogre Pond. For your water type um and you have a milotic i'm gonna say mm -hmm. screw the conventions i'm gonna run two water types you can uh, you can in your face. i mean if you if you want a, a special water type uh that is bulky milotic is the best option available mm, pelipper is um, also not decently you... solid maybe it's not as bulky though doesn't have as yeah, much longevity on definitely right not as bulky doesn't... And like whether or not you're supposed to actually want that, that's a fair <laughs> question. But it, it's here. I think you mean the most bulky water type that learns Scald is Gyarados. Yeah, Gyarados is it, here. It does. <laughs> um, I don't know if Gyarados is going to be that's running Gyarados. it, mainly because it not just because of the attacking stat, but also because uh, kind of clashes with the Thunder Wave, Wave set roll. that still seems a bit of use. Um, and yeah, so then there's uh, Gudra, which gets it sure. Um, and that's about it. Sinistra, a new Pokemon. 
um, Sinisha, a new Pokemon <laughs> that here has Scald, which is like cool. Um, it has a for when you for when you don't want to brew your matcha when you want to just brew if only your tea. It, if only it had another move that could has a chance has a chance to burn you and do damage. Yeah, but like it would have to burn both. It would have to hit both opponents for me to want to use it. Listen, Scald goes through wide guard. It also has to be stabbed for me to want to use it. It also has to heal me like at least fifty percent for me to want to use it. <laughs> it also has to miss at least ten percent of the time for me to want to use it. That's true. That's true. You can't make the move too crack. Got to nerf it a little. Yeah. Bit. Um. Heat crash. Uh, no. Pikachu does get the the Scald now. It does get a single coverage move. So the hundred percent win rate mod is gonna it's gonna be back. Didn't he have muddy water before? Am I? Am I? Wait, did he? That? I think oh, so. Did. I think it had muddy water. Also, did we talk about Icicle Spear already? I skipped no, over it because not, I didn't think it was going to be anything. What do you got? Um, I mean, Mammoth Swine gets it, which is cool. I think a Bomb Snow gets it, which is like, it, it, I mean, it gets it probably clicks Blizzard, but like if it wants to be physical for for grass moves, then it could do All right, that cool. too. Adi picked a bad move. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's talk about Weaver Weaver gets it. <laughs> Weaver gets it. Okay. I mean, Weavile, Weavile sadly, oh, awesome. no longer fast is the problem. Weavile is a slow Pokemon. <laughs> oh, you want a fast ice type to click like, full spear with? Uh, too bad, uh, Sam slash Cat, it's, uh, it's no turned off by Tornadus. No. But, um, it exploded the turn fast, and it would have been Gen 7 fast. Well, the thing yeah. is, Nick, it doesn't even have to reset the weather. Tailwind and Sand Slash is already slower than like your slowest Pokemon. <laughs> sure is. <laughs> um, okay. Now, Weather Ball is um is noteworthy on i guess nine tails both forms uh not really either form actually <laughs> yeah it's definitely not on the ice one um the fire one it's like okay i know polytoad might consider it as a consistent option outside of uh hydro pump people are talking about it same on for pelipper yeah um you run that thing on Ludi you run that boom on uh, ludicolo it does get run so, on ludicolo yeah, yeah, no, it, it's just a hundred base power, hundred accuracy water move for the rain sweepers, yeah. um, especially the ones that didn't get spelled. Um, but it, like, it's better than hydro pump. It's pretty cool. Um, I can actually see it being good on uh, squeak. No, uh, what is it called? Walking wake. Walking wake. Walking wake. Oh, uh, that guy has like, steam eruption actually. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy has run, hydro, uh, whatever. They run Terra Fire Flamethrower on it currently in singles in the sun, and I think maybe it could use Weather Ball. Um, oh, you mean like for sun purposes? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I guess. I, I guess. Uh, okay, yeah. next up, um, Grassy Glide. Probably Grassy skip. Glide, baby. Probably, Let's go. Probably skippable. Can, can anyone think of any relevant Pokemon that learned Grassy Glide? Because I can't think of any. Electrode. Uh, Did you mean Shaman? Yeah, Shaman's got Grassy Glide. Ludicolo? I will say, um, it, yes, you can run it on Rillaboom. You can also run it on Pokemon that aren't Rillaboom if Rillaboom is common enough. Yeah, uh, a little bit. And we saw that a little bit in uh, in Dynamax formats, where especially like Series 10, or I guess Series 10 wasn't Dynamax, but Sword and Shield era, where Rillaboom was everywhere. And you just run Grassy Glide on stuff like Serena, because half the time it has priority. Uh, so... I am curious if it um, if it sees play with other Pokemon. Um, I think honestly, like Ogre Pond has so much overlap with Rillaboom that you could run it on Ogre Pond and it's perfectly good. Yep. That's the only one that I can really see that I think the really wants to run it. Eat really hard into people running it uh, on uh, non Rillaboom teams. Um, Dude, they gave it to the base power. Fifty five base power is quite a bit weaker than seventy. Um, think, yeah. Yep. Like you can you can kind of just get away with running seventy base power stab move on yeah. some mons. You can't get away with a fifty five base power move. You're just gonna run power up every time. Somebody they, Game Freak also remembered Raylum existed, so they didn't give it this move. They gave it the to the goat. <laughs> go goat. The goat. Go go time. It's go go yeah. time. Running go goat Rillaboom and my defense is boosted. My grassy glides are priority. You're about to get go I'm goat fire. I'm you always drinking. eat the ogre pot. Terrifier? Yeah. Oh, no, true. Mm, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I don't really see anything else uh, super stand out. Meowskarata gets it, but it has a cooler grass move. Scovillain? Uh, Scovillain Gamers? Okay. Uh, Burning Jealousy, okay. Uh, otherwise known as the anti-airstream move. Um, I don't think the anti-Zashin. It's the anti-air, bro. 
<laughs> it's the anti-air. Uh, yeah. It's the anti-air. I don't think we're going to play with this move anymore. I think this move is garbage. Uh, um, if the best boosting Ogre Pond form wasn't immune to it, maybe you would see play. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's not, so... Yeah, cool. if they happen to just, like, put the attack boost on the rock one, yeah, maybe. Um, True. No. Flip turn. This move is so cool. Who gets it? Not many people, oh, I think. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh honestly, oh, oh. I didn't realize Samurott got it, but Samurott's, like, I mean, it's probably not very good, but, like, it is a hits hard. Dude, singles. You have, you single do have that Cecil's Edge. Pits. Like, see, this thing has knockoff, flip turn, Ceaseless Edge. Like, this, this mon's got moves now. They're all water dark. But, well, actually, it has Sacred Sword, too, I think. Yo, yeah, Roxas gets it? Uh, Roxas uh, yeah. gets another funny move. Oh, wait. Crash. Wasn't it, like, the fun one to that get? It was Basket good. Legion. Basket Legion is a fun recipient of flip turn. The mon hasn't been seeing a lot of usage, but it's definitely. Probably the biggest winner of flip turn in VGC. So, are you saying we can't use Samurai? What, what, what do you mean? I want to set up spikes. We're not saying you can't. There. We're saying you right. shouldn't. It's slightly different. Oh. Floatzel, Floatzel's kind of cool. All right. Yeah, Floatzel was cool in Regulation A series. Dual one. wing beat. I hope they gave this to Dragonite. We already I'm know so the answer sad, to the question. Man. Where, where? Dragonite's my boy. I'm a, but hey, number one on the limitless rankings. But hey, Scyther uh, fans uh, are eating. Okay? Scyther! They got Bug Bite and they got Dual Wing Beat. Yo, okay? Zapdos gets it too. Zapdos uh, Galar. Hey, yo. They Decent. could not throw Dragonite a bone. Probably because it would go a little too crazy on the Terra Normal set. <laughs> I just want to click it on the Terra Flying set, but not be forced to Terra to use my stab move. Mm -hmm. That's all I want. Yeah. It would be crazy. Um, other than that, Talonflame Talon totally finally has an on Brave Bird option. Oh, wait, Talonflame does actually enjoy this move a little bit. Um, it does. Talonflame enjoys it quite a bit. It's really, it's really good really against it uh, Sash Whimsicott. Yeah, Sash Whimsicott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love uh, and they gave it to the uh, the new technician one um, that sadly is not a flying type. Fast and Deputy. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Terra flying is deep, man. So that it would have stab wing Terra, deep. wait. Terra... Flying Pheasantipity, dual wing beat, and it has twice the chance to toxic. So true. Except <laughs> then you're on technician, so you're doing zero damage. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> wait, I mean, you are you're already doing zero damage, but I mean, it's fun. Fun on Corbinite. Step base nine. Do you want to attack? That's only like. I'll start using Corbinite again because of this move. I'm down. Um. Yeah. But where's the yeah, if Scyther was, rock set? If Scyther was faster than Ogre Pond, it might have actually been useful. Hey, here's a nice one. Poltergeist. Um, a move that's been sorely missing. Um, and uh, now Fluttermane finally has a good physical ghost move to click. Um, yeah, baby! Into Assault Vest Iron Hands. Into uh, opposing Fluttermane. Into opposing So, Fluttermane. it is important to note, this one's actually real. Um, they gave it to um, one man that's just going to love the move, and then uh, another mon that's interested in it, uh, Bramble Guest, kind of goes crazy with Poltergeist. Yep. Um, 110 base, 110 base power is just uh, a lot. It's slightly stronger than Terragos Terrablast, which is what you had to run before. Um, mm -hmm. And Emilio made a really good team with uh, Bramble Guest, uh, and so just slap Poltergeist on that bad boy. And uh, and I don't know if you need more changes. You probably do to run it optimally, but. Um, that the that move hits really hard. That's gonna be my calculus right, I think. Sari Ledge is another uh, uh. Ledge is another big winner of uh, getting Poltergeist. Um, now it doesn't have to literally just Shadow Sneak. I think it maybe had Shadow Claw, but it had Shadow Claw, but nobody um, used it. But yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. It had, it had um it had uh, Phantom Dragon. Force. It had Phantom Force. Oh okay. But... Trevenant, I think it's another Pokemon that likes it. Probably won't see enough usage to. Even remember it, Dusk Nord. That's what happens when you're the like fourth gra grass ghost to be introduced. To hey, hey, game. Sableye can click it. I actually had a Sableye click it into one of my Pokemon today, and it did like it was my Sinistra. I took like 70 from minus yeah. one. I was like, whoa, go Sableye. Nah, dude. Let's go Sableye. I'm, I'm gonna dude. go back to Bramblecast because that mod, I, I, I'm still shocked that no one's using it. There were two people who used it in like the 450 player tour this past weekend. Um, 
And it, it, this is like this is this should this should be like a three or four percent usage model. I, I genuinely think so. And like we saw two in yeah, top no, thirty two of Brazil. We saw two in top thirty two of the the European regional. We saw like four in top thirty two of the of Pittsburgh. Like it's one of the better teams in regulation E. Yeah. Um and it translates over and it beats all the opposing torrent stuff. I'm really, really shocked that no one's using this in these limitless scores. I think it's free money. Yeah, I see I see the vision for sure. I think yeah, I think Wind Rider, just, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> Wind Rider is cracked. High base attack is good. Poltergeist is good. I don't know which else you want. You get plus one when you put Tailwind up. It's like being a ghost is cool. Being spore immune is cool. Mm-hmm. Being rage power immune is cool. It's got traits. It's not got damage. The Indian. Uh, yeah, but not well, Ogre Pond Indian. can't hit you until they're fire type, and then they can hit you. They can hit you even if they're not fire type. We got we got we got resistances. <laughs> it's got it's got some Fluttermane looking bulk. I think it's got less. Yeah, it's got less. <laughs> it's um, definitely less. Next move we have is lash out. <laughs> Um, um, I am I think... still I am Lash Out's biggest hater. Maybe I still think this move is mid as hell. I've been seeing a number of Chen Pao's switching to it. That's going to be probably one of the main Pokemon to talk about getting it. It's seventy five mm. base power versus the consistent eighty of like Crunch or what what have you throat chop, I guess. Um, but you if you get intimidated. It goes up to 150, but also you're intimidated, so it's effectively only 100. You get like 100 for a turn, and then back it's down back to, to being like, terrible. I I just I I don't like the move, and there's very few I other personally think going on right now. I personally think it was only ever used because you could turn it into a strong dark D D Max move, and now because you don't have that, and also because knockoff is in the game, it's basically not good you, unless you, you are like you, unless you are like king gambit like or an, i guess an eye there was other okay. ways to uh, make it happen with either terra normal countering that because they lower your speed or side bulldozing yourself to set it up but these were very like dynamax based strategies that the move was being used around and so i don't think it holds up in a format that does have as many uh stat drops flying around Okay, but that's what you say now. But in, once you get apple acided by the the Diplin, and yeah, if they apple acid into your King Gambit, you're like plus six at the end of the thing, hitting for a, a billion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except I think that happens the other turn, you so it never actually activates left on shot. Jody's Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the dude that might get to use it is Tinglu, because Tinglu, I mean, didn't really run third chop, but it could, or sometimes run payback. But like, it gets intimidated a lot, especially with Landorus now. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's part of why it's reduced uh, less viable than it used to be. So last shot might give it a, give it a, you know a breath of life, but I don't think it's gonna be good, that good. But uh, that is, I think that's the mod that is most likely to use it. Other than maybe Roaring Moon, if you get um, intimidated on turn zero, does it count for last shot? Mm -hmm. I'm not actually sure. Can't remember. I it's been think it doesn't. I think it but, doesn't. Um, I, I'm like fifty five, forty five. Okay, because because that would be the one interaction that maybe makes it viable. Obviously, it says, knockoff is a better move. You're still yeah. always running. It's, uh, it says it counts. Um, zero yeah. counts. Yeah. So so then you know like I you if you run I don't know like uh, I guess it only makes it to booster energy because then you want to get the um the attack booster and if you get the speed booster then you can lash out. Uh, but even then that's like not as good as click just clicking knockoff. Usually you're trying to drag and dance or talent or something. The knockoff, the knockoff utility is crazy, and being having to like click lash out turn one because you got intimidated, it probably just tells your opponent, "Hey, I'm clicking lash out." Sounds this like turn. a great <laughs> reason for them yeah. to double protect and for you to um click tail one instead. Click uh, yeah, true, instead. true, true, true. Except you don't have that because you have lash out. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you're you're like, oh, you're... like you, you still have the same side, but oh, okay, okay. No knock yeah, sounds no, terrible, it's, though. It, it's pretty mid. It's, I, I think that there's the uh, Alex and John are slightly too down on it, but only barely. It's it's another consideration for your dark move on mods that don't have knockoff. Um, yeah. the, last move move move. the last move to discuss is, I believe, um, Scale Shot. Um, and I honestly think only like one or maybe two Pokemon know where they got this um, for us. 
Um, Dragonite has it, and very rarely was Dragonite not running like a choice set, and Outrage is probably going to beat it out. Um, and let's see, then there's um, Garchomp. I don't remember if Garchomp had it before. I know that it got it like last. He year. did. He had it before. It, uh, okay, it didn't. It didn't have it yet this gen. This yeah, gen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he had it last gen. Probably won't move the needle on that Pokemon, as we've been saying. Nope. Um. Scrolling down, Como uh, is a returning Pokemon, but also it's going to much prefer to do Body Press, Iron Defense, or Clangorous Soul sets. Uh, Drago it's getting it is funny. Um, but no, Baxcalibur is the main one I'm looking at. I guess Roaring Moon is a funny one to get it to. Uh, Roaring Moon kind of foregoes its Dragon Stab in a lot of cases. Um, but Baxcalibur is uh, the one I was looking for. Um, definitely a big, definitely a big user yeah, so, of that. Yeah, Bax can run a funny set with, uh, like, Icicle Spear, Scale Shot, and Loaded Dice. Loaded and, Dice? Uh, he can, he can uh, just go fast if you want to. Um, Moon already had Scale Shot, I think. They did. But, but um, now you can click Scale Shot, and then you can click Last Shot, and you get the boost. Wait. That's how, that's how that works. That is, that is not, oh. No, that is that is how it works. Wait. Because hold on, you, there's a way to do I'm it. John knows how to do it. Instruct. Instructing. John's got it. <laughs> I'm instructing my Roaring Moon from the last turn scale shot, and then I'm clicking. How, how is my Iron Guru going first? I'm claw, procking click claw. I'm instructing myself to scale shot, and then I'm going to lash out for min big speed. Damage. No, no, no. Wait, John, I got it. the The Roaring Moon is <laughs> lagging tail. Oh. No, no, no. The lag, no. the roaring mode is booster energy. The Orangaru is oh. has a lagging tail. Oh, oh shit! Adi's really cooking. All right, he's really cooking in there. Gotta Last, give it to him. Lastly, let's talk about Misty Explosion. I actually just want to see who look who learns it because I didn't look yet. Water main. Um, no. it's, it's crazy. They get every it. type. Every type just like crazy cool tutor move. Last generation, and they gave very Misty Explosion. Okay, Good. Fairy is still paying for Moonblast. They did not need anything else. No, they yeah. still don't need anything else. Uh, Screamtail hey, getting what? it. Uh, I'll, I'll give points to Enamorous, Screamtail, and Hat getting it. Um, the Screamtail and Hat get points because, like, maybe you set Trick Room boom so that you get a free switch to a uh, a sweeper. And um, you proc a Witch's Policy in the process. And, and maybe, get... yeah, maybe your T-Tar is right next to it clicking Rock Slide with a boost now. Um... Enamorous, maybe less points because it's not setting Trick Room itself. Carbink, probably one of the best examples of a Pokemon that wants to just blow up after the job is done. So doesn't it actually just get explosion though? Yeah, probably. Or wait, no, it doesn't this gen. I think. Mm, okay. I think it had it in Gen Six when it was still TM, and then they took it away because they hate they hate explosion now. Okay, but Weezing getting it like with uh, Weezing getting it with Misty Surge is pretty funny because. This is like it's 200 BP now, right? If you do that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did they actually buff this move? No, it just du it just double powered in Misty. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought it was like 50 to 100. I, I knew this move was bad. I just no, it's 100 to 200. It's very, very unpleasant. It's still, it's still bad. Yeah. <laughs> you can you can run it on your Regina to kill three Pokemon and get Soul Heart boosts. <laughs> Let's go Soul Heart. <laughs> okay, so um. Let's go on and talk about the. Uh, oh, I linked the wrong thing. Uh, that's fine. Here's the tournament. Um, let's go on and talk about three the tournaments. three tournaments that took place over the weekend and talk about some of the teams that we're seeing, maybe a bit of the metagame. Um, we'll first start off with uh, the BGC Trainer School. I don't know if this is in chronological order or not. I believe it might be. Um, and yeah, this one had the most people as well. Um, I don't know if what was the the main draw of this one. Maybe it was because it had a prize pool. Prize pool, eh. yeah, you know, people play for money. Uh, Wolfie was playing in it, so we cool heard about awesome. that. And played in it for that. That was something else I wanted to mention. Um, is that maybe it was the wolf effect? But um, yeah, the winners team. I think the winners team actually has like an egregious team sheet error that was bothering me every time I looked at it because I still yeah he's he's not. Terra, he is Terra. He is the Fire Ogre Pond, but it says he's Terra Grass. And the ability is wrong, so it's probably. And he says he's Grass. No, he, no, it's the Terra type's wrong. That's just that's the only thing. No, no, no. no. But he, the ability. No, no, is wrong he has too, Defiant right? on his thing too. Yeah, it's yeah, Defiant. 
uh, when it should be like he's he is the fire one. Oh right, okay, okay. So he should be mold breaker. And so it's got like the gotcha. mask, but then the wrong ability and terror type to match the mask. And so I'm like, uh, it was a glitch in Limitless. Oh, okay, that's a pretty annoying glitch. Big glitch. I mean, um, to be fair, all the ogre pawn, you can't tell what form they are until you click on it. You can you can actually tell what form or shifus are by hovering over them. Yeah. You can't tell uh, what form ogre pawn it is until you click on the team list. I think that might be so, because of because uh, it's a held item based thing, I guess. Yeah. I I hope they fix that just for my data collection. That's the only reason why I need them to fix that. Yeah, it makes scraping data a little harder since you got to actually click on like all the ogre pawn. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about the team, though. It's honestly one of the simplest things you could see. It's just triple choice uh, Tailwind with, I guess, double grass and a Focus Sash Tornadus that doesn't want to lose to Bramble Grass. Hyper offense, baby. It doesn't want to lose to Bramble Gas, so it's got the Air Slash. Yeah. Um, that is funny, it's though. It really feels like it should still be a win move. Right? Yeah, it does. But you, uh, think about it this way. You're, you're not putting wind out you are cutting the air in half so it should be a slash move i don't even think it's that actually i don't know someone check someone do the jade check is air slash a cutting move <laughs> cutting move is there any <laughs> special cutting moves uh um, really air cutter go on how would that go anyway yeah, yeah um yeah. it's crazy to say that we're like one tournament in like this is like the first like reggae tournament we're talking about and i'm already like yeah, it's kind of boring, though. Um, I don't know, am I wrong? you have no uh, interest in uh, anybody else's teams uh, but your own. That's true. That's true. And that's why I host a podcast. Because if somebody else wanted to talk about the teams that they wanted to talk about, they would host a podcast. Yeah, the answer is Air Slash and Air Cutter are both cutting moves. They are also the only special cutting moves. Um... It's important to note, Alex, that I was actually just projecting. But... <laughs> well, no, it's, it's real, too. Um... It's real here. Uh, yeah, Landers has Rock Tomb, which is, I guess, kind of cool. Double Rock. The It's actually Terra Rock as well. I think that's probably the main thing that's, like, Ooh. separating this team from the crowd is everybody's running Scarf Lando with just Terra Flying Terra Blast. It's a really good way to hit Ogre Pond before it can attack um, for super effective damage across all forms but the Rock one. Uh, of course, they can Terra out of it. But... Um, yeah, this one is actually Terra Rock. I don't know if that's the right choice, but it's got... No, nah, no, nah, I like it. I think um, something that I had been playing around a lot with Landorus is that you're you're pretty... It's pretty easy to rely on it for Ogre Pond Fire matchup. I mean, like, they're still going to hit you with a grass move. But now they have to basically pick between do they try to nuke you with Ivy Cudgel or do they, like, whiff into a Terra Rock situation and then they die because your rock is now stabbed. Mm -hmm. Like, that is, like, a, a fair take, I think. Uh, I don't know if it's the correct take. I think ultimately, if you want to resist like the fire ivy couple huddle, you probably still want water. But um, I mean, it's a, it's a choice, definitely. Uh, he has two rock moves, so I kind of I think it makes sense here. But uh, mo on most sets, probably doesn't make sense. I think um, the only other thing, as mentioned in the chat, to talk about is the uh, bullet seed on Ogre Pond. Uh, I believe it was because uh, three hits takes out Chen Pao, which is like pretty solid. Um, yeah, you know, not uh, it's not backed by loaded dice so that you can get some kind of guarantee into it, but uh, I think this is also with terrain, um, or Terra, one of those. Two oh, probably points. Terra, yeah, actually, never mind Terra. I think Terra might does Terra get it in two? <laughs> I guess we'll have to figure it out on the calc is right. True, 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 true. <laughs> um, second place though, uh, runner up was actually. Um, a great representation of what I'm seeing on the ladder. Every t every game I play on the, the ladder right now is either against Team A or Team B. Uh, Psy spam is very common right now. Everyone decided that, like, oh, Rillaboom's back and gliding? Well, I don't want that. I want to turn that off ASAP. Indeedy. I'm, my Psy spam friends are, are here to protect me. Um, you know you know what the, uh, the, the first person went 13 and 1 lost to? They also lost to Psy spam in Swiss. That was their one loss. From Jarsh. But then they yeah, beat in finals, finals, so they they. Beat in finals, but I think they figured out the matchup. <laughs> yeah, uh, this uh, this team has a lot of the same pieces too. Um, as I bet a lot of uh, trick room teams like that are gonna yeah. end up being. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this uh, is this the blood version of Ursuline or the regular one? Uh, that's a good question. One? I actually didn't look. It, it was regular. Um, do they split that guy though, or is it? 
Um, this one yeah, is regular. I think it. They, they split those in the standings. Okay, cool. Or in the metagame. So I don't. So I gotta hover it for a Blood Moon version or anything. I guess it's because he has his own mini sprite, right? Where's the mini sprite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or does it not have it. one yet? He has a mini sprite. Name one. That, tell me a team that has one, John. What place? Uh, place twenty four. Dynamite. Oh, I found it. Yep. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, it does have a different mini sprite. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's kind of uh similar to a lot of the side spam teams we've seen over the years. There's actually no new tools on this team at all. Uh, so definitely something to keep in mind is that like we got a lot of new stuff, but uh, it still has to, you know, fit into a metagame with all the other stuff that we have that's viable. Uh, I mean, and and so I, I, I've been a doomer for a while saying that this is not going to change very much. And the, the mods that are viable, obviously, is still going to be viable. But, like, uh, we kind of saw this in, in Reg C as well, where, like, there, it did change the metagame a lot, even though they only introduced three Pokemon. Um, but uh, a lot of the same teams... All right. It Mr. Three Pokemon, go ahead. What, what, what's the one ruin that doesn't count as a Pokemon? <laughs> you, you don't know this, don't you? You already know the answer to that. Yeah, wow. It's a real comedian <laughs> here. Just, just like three Pokemon. Like, all right, someone's going to have to ask. I'll take the bait. Whatever. <laughs> it did cut worlds, though. It did cut worlds. Um, uh, wait, Alex, do you have strong feelings about Wochen? Do you, do you have no, an affinity for I, it? I, I, yeah, that mod is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Um, but, but I just I just remember like uh, Justin Karras bringing his like series two regional champion team to UIC and getting what top thirty two with it like a decent performance with it. Um, like yeah, if you're really good with the team and you have a lot of comfort with it, while well, everyone's trying stuff out, you are probably going to overachieve with it. That does not mean that that team is necessarily going to continue to be good. It means that you are good with that team. Um, mm -hmm. And I think usually that means that like. You probably need to find a better team to get good with because people will figure out how to beat you as they get more comfortable. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't know. Size band players are just going to keep playing size band. They're going to keep doing it for uh, you know the next ten years. So it's hey, all man, I, I had my I had my one stint in Reg C. I think I'm good for the next like couple gens. So you know, <laughs> it's all good. Until Nash, I bring back Tapu Lele, then I'm back on the size spam train. Nash, you got a team? <laughs> uh, I mean, if there's a if there's a Wochen team on ladder, well, it's ladder right now. In game ladder, never mind. That's Reg nah, D, I can't see that. but that's still pretty cool. That is still pretty cool. That's and that's a Reg D plus because Ogre Pond. Is yes, losing. Reg D plus, the stupidest format. <laughs> Reg D point five. Um, okay, so Desu's team, Desu did decide to bust out one of the new tools. Uh, besides, of course, Grassy Glide, Rillaboom, uh, Koo. This one we is the Kolo Iron Defense stand. Body Press set. Um, okay, I'm not standing this one. <laughs> what? Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan of the clangorous boy. I'm not a fan of the I iron defense body press stuff. Everything else here seems like just a Pokemon you find in a normal, uh, you know, what kind of team would you call this? Balance, I guess is the more generic word. But like, you know, it doesn't have Tailwind. It doesn't have Trick Room. No speed control to really talk about here. So it's mostly looking to just trade hits better. Um, and uh, other than that, like, yeah, everything else is just kind of... Um, I mean, Como Terrifier is going to be pretty hard to break with anything but like basically a water type Pokemon, and Gastrodon does a good job of protecting it there. Um, let's see, John's got the team. The and it has team. Bulletproof, which gives uh Sojourn Strikes immunity. Uh, that's not no, no. That is that is fake, by the way. Not, uh... <laughs> it does have Gastrodon with Sojourn Strikes immunity though. Okay, so there is just a Sylveon mm -hmm. Bundle Wochian team Zapdos. There's I, these are all like kind of like lower A or like B tier Pokemon in Reg D right now. That's pretty cool. Um, Except for Heatran. Heatran's like an A tier. Like yeah, I didn't, I didn't say Heatran or Lando, bro. Those are good Pokemon. I said all uh, the other ones besides Heatran. All the other ones. Okay. Good I didn't hear that part. Okay. Good Pokemon. There's no stigma against it. Alex is just a hater. Yeah, that's true. No, no, I'm I'm a fan of using good Pokemon. My teams are all good Pokemon exclusively. Um, mm -hmm. That's true. Never use Wochat in your life. Never. Um, so yeah, Big Mike fourth, uh, with a King Gambit team. Probably don't want to spend time talking about every single team, but yeah, this is um, uh, just Sash Roshi who Black Lass of Swords Dance King Gambit. Um, a good example of like you know, you can have a fast paced team, but follow me on Ogre Pond can kind of switch things up, and suddenly it's like a supporter, and I really like that uh, about the Pokemon, it gives it a cool flexibility. Um, 
Let's see. Ninetales makes a cool appearance in fifth. Let's go Ninetales. I, I said this I said this in our in our team building chat, but I think Giso's team is probably the team that I'm most inclined to steal from this tournament. Um, I can say that because I don't have a regional until December. Mm-hmm. But uh, I mean, he's using two new Pokemon in Alola Ninetales and Ogre Pond, and then effectively a third one in Bax. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the Bax is a uh, and the Bax is obviously using that set that we talked about with Spear and Scale Shot. Um, but you know, supporting it with uh, both the oh, they don't have follow me on their ogre pond. Wait, 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 bro, 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 bro. This guy's running ice body back caliber. Oh, yo, oh, wait, I actually should be wild. doing that. Whatever, that's based. That that's is pretty based. funny. That's actually really based. I mean, I guess if the best fire type has mold breaker, you might as well, right? That's true. It's true. Huh. Well, here's the thing: thermal exchange doesn't reduce damage, so you'd still get it, but you're probably dying to it anyway. So, like, yeah, oh, you still okay. get it. Yeah, because you're not reducing damage, right? It's just like if you get hit by a fire move. It only makes you immune to will o but it doesn't make you immune to fire moves. Rain plus Ice Body. Yeah, it does have Rillaboom thought... to support it, too. Man, you could throw Leftovers on this and get triple, <laughs> but I know that, that defeats the point of the set. That would defeat the purpose, yeah. But it's kind of lit. Alright, no, I'm actually very would, interested though. now that I see that uh, the Ice nah, Body. This, this seems cool. I like this. Ice Body is actually very nice. Um... Yeah, we can talk. We can skip talking about A-Ray's team. Um, the next team as well. <laughs> um, the best Bat. finishing Sinistra here from Bat. Bat. Let's go, Bat. Um, there's, a, there's a few Sinistra. There's, there's, but this is the best finishing, all have right? It. And 11. And 11. And 11, yeah. But the, net, the next three you also all have it. Wait, what's this uh, Bat's team is cool, too. Oh, yeah, they're actually... Uh, I like Bat's team. That's pretty neat. Um, yeah, that's a cool uh, way to play a slower-paced team. Uh, we're going to see more... Options like that with Pokemon being introduced, like Clefairy, Sinistra, Ninetales, um, Ogre Pond with Follow Me. A lot of uh, good supporting options introduced for ways to enable, like, set up Pokemon, whether it's uh, a Como, a Nasty Plot, Galarian, Moltres in this case. Um, yeah, I, uh, this looks pretty cool. Um, next up, um, let's see. Uh, I don't, I mean, like, Wolf probably did a breakdown for his team. We can mention it really quick. It's got the, uh, Clanger Assault. Lax, baby. Um, yeah, Clef Lax. It's got the, Clank, yeah, actually, the, the Snorlax, too. The BB Lax. Uh, the only person using Snorlax, um, I don't know. It, it's got Thick Fat. That's pretty cool right now, especially with how oppressive and strong fire-type damage can be. Um, yeah. And uh, got the Sinistra Clefairy double redirection combo with Fake Out from Iron Hands, Intimidate, Pivot with Landorus. Like, it's basically just these four supporting two broken setup sweepers. And I wouldn't be surprised to see more teams like this. Um, that you can call them raid boss teams, you can call them tower defense teams. Like, they're just uh, all in on supporting one guy to do basically everything. Mm. Um, um, mm-hmm. Uh, I asked uh, our resident Snorlax lover, Roshan, um, what what he thought, and he he basically said like, yeah, it's cool that he like it's cool that he used Snorlax, but like, why not use Belly Drum Iron Hands instead when it does it just better in almost every way? And the answer, the conclusion that he came to was like, well, because you want to have Iron Hands to support your setup mod, because just the best support mod in the format as well. And so I think that's why he was uh, using Snorlax. At least that's why Roshan seems to think he's using Snorlax. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Thick Fat's a good ability. Yeah, uh, I think Thick Fat is another thing, and you can also use Rillaboom to support uh, an Iron Hands if you wanted to go that route, too. Also, but, um, not weak to Fairy type. Like, it's yeah. got pretty mean qualities. Normal, the normal typing with Thick Fat is a pretty solid uh, typing that isn't going to be forced to uh, Terra right away. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, and then uh, I'll probably cut it at top 16 here before we move on to the next tournament. Um, well, there's actually a couple more Como. Oh, let's see. This one is a Clangorous Soul set. Actually, Double Dragon uh, Como and Baxcalibur. Um, you can kind of respect that. Uh, let's see. And then the next one was Iron Defense Body Press. Um, Iron Heads, Terra Steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. So there's, uh, there's actually a good mix of both. Um, and... Other than that, uh, there's always got to be a Mioscarada. You can't have a tournament without a Mioscarada finishing somewhere near the top for no reason at all. Um, hey, man. He choice banned, though. It is choice banned. Um, 
yeah, a lot of like new teams, and so there's like gonna be stuff to talk about. Uh, Joe using Okie Dogi, uh, doesn't believe in Nine Tails though. Is actually sticking with the Grim Star for the screen setter. Um, and yeah, um, otherwise, yeah, it's just that leftover. I think set bulk up. Go ahead, Adi. I'd say go ahead. And, I if you're done with the the top sixteen teams, mm -hmm. I'd say let's look at the metagame tab because the metagame tab is uh is pretty interesting. Yeah, so Ogre Pond is at the highest usage, um, and this is combining all four forms, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. yep. um, it should be. And so I think that's a bit of new toy syndrome, but I also think uh, the Pokemon is good and flexible, and the thing is you'll find it on a variety of teams. You'll find it on offense, you'll find it on slower play. Um, you can even find it supporting a Trick Room team, so I think it's a, uh, a Pokemon that's going to be, like, up there in the big three like i would not be surprised if it's gonna st consistently be top three in usage with flutter and hands um that's of course summing all the forms you know um because yeah uh, i feel like if they ever figure out how to split it down each form like i think fire will have the highest usage in them yes like, you'll probably see it around the i want to say 35 for fire and then their other where you have to share the other 25, but apparently maybe, a, I'm, uh, maybe AOX, I'm lowballing it. So. AOX is in the chat split down. Uh, Hearthflame is just over 25% usage and water oh. version just under that. Okay. So it's more so it's more of a clean split than I thought it was, I guess. Um, so I kind of have a feeling like, I, I guess I haven't been playing recently, but I feel I feel like water was a little slept on at the beginning of people playing this format, and fire was like everywhere. So... Um, and so this gives us a good idea of Pokemon that are doing well. However, everything is, like, the win rates are all so low and, like, barely passing 50%. And I can't remember if, Nick, you knew the reason for that. I uh, I kind of remember, but... Um... Oh, I mean, it's, uh, it's just, uh, like, noise. Um, it, it could be a little bit about um, the top Pokemon being adequately prepared for, but honestly, I think that explanation is a little bit sus, um, considering it's the first tournaments of the format. Um, I think it's just uh, everything is hovering around 50. There is not much sample size, and um, there's probably a couple Pokemon lower down the list that are um, stealing a bit of win rate, and you should look at uh, potentially using those bonds. Um, King Gambit and Baxcalibur are two of the big ones. Uh, Goldengo and Como also have uh, pretty good win rates. Mm -hmm. um, but like uh, everything is uh, just super noisy. So uh, yeah, I think there's another reason um, for this tournament specifically, which is that uh, they did not drop people like at all. And oh really? Unless unless you request it, uh, unless you click the drop button in Limitless. And um, if you don't, and you don't, and both players don't. Uh, like log in for a battle or click uh, ready for battle or whatever, uh, just gives a double game loss, which means that there are more losses than there are wins in this tournament by oh, a significant margin. Okay. Wow! Like there's a bunch of people who went 0-9. Uh, there's two, well, there's two people who went 0-9 in this tournament, right? And they both had Ogre Pond on their team. Um, and it's easier to go 0-9 than it is to go 9-0. Uh, so that, yeah, I think that's yeah. a big part of it. That yeah. is actually yeah. Okay. Sounds like we can't really take too much from this if they didn't drop anybody. Okay, yeah, no, that that does affect the meta game standing. Uh, it affects the uh, the win rates a lot. Maybe not the appearances. Mm -hmm. Like it, we can definitely look at uh, meta game share tab, but the the win percentage stat is honestly so scuffed after hearing. So that. you're just supposed to look at um, win percentages relative to everything else, not uh, the absolute win win percentages. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I also no. just generally think that like. Looking at win percentage for top mons, top usage mons is not very useful because they are all going to be about fifty percent win rate. Yeah, and yeah. It, I don't think the difference between you know Iron Hands being Iron Hands being a forty six percent win rate mon, like no, it's not. It's still a top three mon in the format. We all know that. Like it doesn't matter if it, the variance between tours for that. But when I look at win rate, I really like looking at mons that are a little underused but still good that are maybe being overlooked uh, for win rate mons. And I guess for this tour at least. Those were Bax Caliber, which we talked about, King Gambit, which we talked about a little bit, Kamoa, Okie Dogi, and Goldengo, where the mods that stood out is like, these mods have very high win rates given how many people use them. But what about Armorage? 
True. Armor is just down yeah, there with like a 60. Reach. It's looking... <laughs> Size spam is eaten right now. Oh, uh, if you look at the metagame for the next one, I didn't realize Flutter and Ogre had a, a dead even 50 on a 100-person tournament. That's just so funny. Um, but yeah, this uh, the Wide League, um, it, uh, it brought us some more uh, teams to talk about. I don't really want to talk about this team that won it, because it's just, where's the new Pokemon? There's nothing exciting here. Um, True. Literally, they... uh, maybe maybe he hacked dual wing beat onto his dragonite. Though. Wait, they true. Okay. Hold on, that aerial ice is looking rather sus. Um, mm. Blood Moon did get second here uh, with a calm mind set. Calm mind does seem to match its stat line very well. I think that's pretty fun. Um, with a sword stance, ogre pond as well. Cool. Um, there's a bramble. Uh, for all of brambles biggest fans, and it seems to be just Emilio's team. Um, yep. Makes sense. Joe UX9 once again. Yeah, Joe enters. Looks like he's doing the same thing. We see the wheezing in uh, seventh here um, with Acid Spray and Sludge Bomb and Wisp and Protect. Okay, okay. I did, I did not know it had Acid Spray. Yeah, I think that's new. <laughs> to be honest, I did not know it knew that. Um, yeah, so I don't know what. Says we have a Protect Ogre Pond. I don't know what it's Acid Spraying for, but. <laughs> Probably uh, the Nine Tails, man. And the flutter and the Viridia. yeah, but like it's it's after the fact, so they could just switch out. Uh, I mean, maybe it's slower than Ferrigarath, so that goes first in Trick Room. Um. Okay. Yeah. Um. Lucky Sama. Uh, we do, we need to go back to Lucky Sama's team. We got we got Protect Ogre Pond, uh, in the finals. Yo, <laughs> I don't need my free benefits. Listen, okay. If that if that hands that was at one percent got to fake out my spiky shield, KO itself and get the free switch into the Scarf Terra Flying Lando, I would be screwed. True. You don't, yep. You don't understand. He didn't I have a scarf plan that guy. Lost oh. to the uh, the guy with Sash Chen Pao and uh, and CB Knight. That's crazy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's tough. It was Ice School Crash Chen Pao. Come on, Adi. Come on. They would have hit around it. Nah, he was hitting crunch though. He's clicking crunch. In a crunch, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dude, he's gonna hit sucker punch so he can hit into that spiky shield, bro. Uh, same for surging strikes. Yeah, yeah. Um, See, that gets three uh, spiky shield procs. So this That's one was uh, a bit smaller. I don't know if the next one was even smaller. Still, how many people are in this one? No, this one's bigger. The last one, Lily. The. Lily of the Valley 2024 Mickey Lamousathon. Um, gotta talk about that because Michael their best Mickey Lamousathon. Uh, Michael their best one. I think Michael was using this team in uh, multiple tournaments this weekend. Maybe didn't make it as deep, but was in this tournament too. Yeah, I got 18. Oh no, it, Tio at the 0 it, one drop. It does make though. sense because Michael's in game name is Mickey. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Um. <laughs> So Michael's running uh, Specs Flutter, Citrus, Shroom, AB Hands, um, Booster Bundle, uh, Scarf Lando, and just a Terrifier Ogre. So um, it's kind of like it, it, the, there's a lot of tools uh, here to protect the and support the Terrifier Ogre Pond, being able to click Swords Dance, whether that's Speed Control with Bundle, uh, Intimidate, or Redirection from Lando and Amoongus, and then just Fake Out. Um, so... It seems like the team is kind of Ogre Pond centric, but uh, has other tools to uh, put on pressure as well. With you know Iron Hands just being a good damage trader, Fluttermane also being able to end game. Um, yeah, looks like a solid team, and uh, it showed Michael was able to make it all the way with only one loss to uh, you. Who were you? What were you running? Uh, I, I think bundles. the other thing I mentioned uh, is well, I can talk about you as well, but. I think I mentioned about Michael's team is that it's Iron Bundle. This Pokemon was not seen at all in Regulation um, E mm -hmm. uh, or Regulation D, sorry. Uh, and I think it, it's a good mod again, especially, you know, more grass types than ever. Um, Ogre Pond, especially if it's not the fire form, really doesn't like freeze dry. Like if it's the water form, really doesn't like freeze dry specifically. Uh, and then also um, if it's the fire form, you can still have the ability to hit it. So like Bundle is maybe a Pokemon that is going to make a resurgence this metagame. Yeah. yeah, I also think that the addition of Nine Tails uh, kind of like opens up the ability to be like Blizzard instead of just freeze dry for your ice coverage if you really want to hit harder. Um, and of course, it also appreciates the screens. 
you know, so yeah. it's just like generally quality of life. Uh, I'm I'm pretty high on Nine Tails. I wonder why. Mm. Uh, but yeah, yeah, bundle yeah. I think is pretty cool as a, a hail snow abuser, but also standalone is is it's thriving with all this grass. John's like it's it's cool. It's no Articuno, but yeah, sure, it's an ice type. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. And then, uh, second and then place. You... Go Sorry, ahead. the guy who Michael lost to. Um, very suspicious behavior. They went eight zero and they dropped. They didn't play it out. They maybe they maybe they were Italian and just didn't want to stay up late. But like probably it is I mean, a those Italians, man. I tell you what, that's a uh, strange decision. Yeah, I mean it looks like they went undefeated. Um, yeah, and just maybe couldn't finish the tournament. Hmm, I don't know. Um, that, also I don't know if there was anything actually on the line in this tournament. Um, there was money. There was uh, money. Karis donated a sizable amount of money. Oh, right. is this that this tournament? Is the, this is the tournament he went to. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Looks like yeah, it was bed reasons. It was bed reasons. Oh, okay. Dang. Thank you, chat. It sounds like you guys are in the know, and we we need to actually put you guys on here. Right. Yeah, we got our informants. Um, that's a Galar Zapdos in fourth place. Not sure. How to feel about that? It doesn't even have dual wing beat. No. Galar, I don't even know her. So, uh, and this is the person who went six two, then got a buy in top eight and then lost. So it's not as impressive as some of the other top four or top cut performances. But um, I follow. Still, yeah. Virgo, Wait, uh, where is this? It's got, some, it's got some pull ons. Where is this guy's flutter answer though? Um, the. Team from Toller also looks pretty cool. It's Sword Stance uh, Ogre. We're seeing a lot of Sword Stance Ogre. Uh, but this one's supported by the Sinistra, Landorus, Hands. Like, uh, literally, th that is just kind of everywhere. You're seeing Hands, Scarf Lando, Redirection, just to support some setup Pokemon. It seems like that's going to be uh, common going forward. Um, I don't even know what's the, like, main main cause. I guess we just have, like, more options for redirection as well as good damage reduction options with like nine tails and yep what you what have you but these teams were not things you were seeing a lot in regulation d but we're seeing them a lot more now um, yeah yeah reg d was definitely like a, a swing and a miss type format like you were either putting out damage like as much as possible or dying to it mm -hmm. and then like this format definitely seems like more catered towards setup play balance play Things that slow the game down were added, like, significantly. Uh, and I think, generally speaking, that means, like, Pokemon, like, Urshifu are a little more down since they they used to be super, like, I just hit. And now they're, like, well, now there are so many grass types, I think water is a little down for sure. But mm -hmm. I think Dark Fu is ready to just uh, soak up all the water. I'm, I'm still scarred by Dark Fu. I, I can't handle that one. Water Fu is cool. Dark Fu, I'm, I'm spooked Dark every time Fu I see is it. very good. Um, I think her Shifu usage only takes a slight hit. Like, Ogre Pond's going to take away a little bit of the usage just because you don't need the fast physical uh, hitter. Um, on You don't need two of them on every team. But um, outside of just the overlap with Ogre Pond, like, I expect Dark Fu to pick up most of the rest of the usage that uh, Water Fu is losing. It is very well positioned in this meta game. Mm -hmm. It's not amazingly positioned. It's pretty well positioned. I believe it. Dark's not super resisted by anything, and they didn't add new fairy types other than Nine Tails uh, and Pheasantipity, I guess. Right? Yeah. Which neither are like bastions of offensive fairy gameplay. So, like you know, seems like it's probably in the same spot as it was before defensively, and then offensively, it's. Well, especially if Psy Spam makes return. If Psy Spam returns too, then it's like Dark Urshifu is loving that for himself. There's less water Urshifu, which does beat Dark Fu. Um, so even that is just going to benefit it. No, not Pheasantipity. Pheasantipity, yeah. What's going on? No. Pheasantipity. Pheasantipity, yeah. Uh, no. Uh, by just... the way, at some point, I'm going to compile all these statistics and then make it available to my. YouTube channel members uh, exclusively from there. I've already done it for Reg D. And so if you want all the limitless data combines, you know where to go. Uh, 
But I do think that like the metagame tab, very cool. A lot easier to like it, it's more useful for a four hundred person tournament. For a hundred person tournament, you're more susceptible to um, a couple individual people doing very well with the team yeah. and uh, increasing um, win rates. Although Okie Dogie had a good win rate in the four hundred player one, also up here doing a doing pretty well. So that would be one that uh, stands out a little more. Yeah, I'm excited to see um, how things shake out when we get more high stake tournaments this uh, one this coming weekend. While it's not going to have a, a ton of ton of players, people basically playing in game as well as you know having to show up to the venue and play at, with a, a much more sizable prize than what we've been seeing. Uh, they're going to be you know pulling out all the stops, and so uh, that tournament, that one we were talking about earlier, the Beast Coast event this weekend is definitely going to be one to talk about. Peoria, once that happens, that's going to be a great way to see what uh, what people are using. I'll make sure to change the whole metagame when I go to Sacramento. Um, and Wait, you're not revealing your team at the, uh, the Chicago Premier Challenge? Uh, well, I am, but I'm planning on paying all of my opponents to for their silence, for their discretion. <laughs> Understandable. Oh, that's what you're paying all of your opponents for? Okay, I got it. Yeah, just the discretion. Yeah. I'm going to go 05, but none of them will talk about it. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, I guess with that, I forgot to open up a uh, a damage calc tab. Um, let's go ahead and uh, move on into the calc is right. I don't think I had one. Um, oh, on Ninetales and Bundle having Encore Disable is pretty cool. I don't know how often you get to pull it off, but that's fun. Not often. I you're, don't have a calc better off just ready one of them and... right away, and so I'll uh, wow. I'll have to take a second. Um, who Cringe. wants to start? Who wants Nails to start? Are going? Who, who's taking it? Am I going? To me? Am going? I taking it? I don't know. I guess uh, I guess I'm taking it. All right, Nick. Okay, what do you got? So, so we got a lot of new grass types. Uh, let's make them fight. Uh, we got Bramble Guest on one side. Uh, and Rule of Boom on the other side. We, we've got Abin Bramble Ghast. It's Terra Ghost, and it's clicking its new move, Poltergeist. It's got its tailwind set up, so it's plus one. Um, Rule of Boom is 252.4. Um, how much is that Poltergeist doing? Uh, assault Vest on the Rule of Boom, not itemless, by the way. Yeah. Uh, no grass <laughs> seeds. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, take, that, take that, get out of here. Um, Itemless real boom does in fact win this interaction. Wait, is life is life for bramble? It's a focus ash bramble. Yeah, focus ash bramble. Okay. Uh, because that guy does not have defensive stats. He knew that item, but um, I think it was I, I Terra. Think got... It was Terra Ghost. I... Terra Ghost. Terra. And... I think oh, so then it's two feet two attack plus one. Yeah. Sorry, you died to grassy glide. Um, uh, I, I you know, uh, no, we game. have a focus ash. We discussed this already. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I got a number. I got a number. Um, I was scarfed bullet seed. Uh, anyway, um, I got my number. Okay. Um, uh, John, what's your number? Eighty-eight. Uh, Adi, what you got? Uh, eighty. Wow, uh, I, I, I don't know. I thought this. I thought Rillaboom was just dying. So if everybody's <laughs> so like. Thinking it's gonna live, I was gonna. I believe I gonna... you have to keep your own number. You're not allowed to change your number based on what the other people have said. Yeah, that's fair. I had 112. Jesus. <laughs> okay. You really thought he was dying, man. You really Real thought he was dying. dead, man. No, no. We're we're eating it, but not well. Um, adamant. We are set. I guess we have no uh I, I, offensive item, but we are. Yeah, you're set. Plus one Terra Ghost. Uh, not terrible. Actually. Yeah, it's just calc defaults for everything, and you have to put poltergeist in the calc. I'm in there, baby. I think so, right, Nick? Yep, that is the that's the correct calc. Ninety-eight point um, five to one hundred and sixteen point nine. I'm actually like yeah, had yeah, a pretty so good a number. Off. I thought yeah, it would be a like 15. a. I I thought I like I'm pretty sure it was gonna be a range, but I was like, it's probably less of like a KO range than I think it is. So I went Yeah, no, it's a fifteen more. out of sixteen kill. Rilla Boom is out of here. He's dang, gone. Hey man. He's dang. replaced by Ogrepon. Ogrepon also dies. Yeah, well Ogrepon definitely dies. That what what if it's itemless Ogrepon? 
Um, oh, didn't consider that one. Then I, I guess getting... Pun dies without Terra. Then I guess it's power getting power whipped. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want Ogre Pond as a power move. That is fair. Um, we don't need ooh. no masks. But what about what about Grassy Mask Speed off. Ogre Pond though? John, did you have a calc? Um, hang on, I gotta recall it because now I now I've forgotten it. We started like we didn't even start yet, but right before the show, and John was like, "Hold on, wait, I need to think of a calc." I was like, "John, that's at the end. We don't start the no, show no, no, with no. the calc." No, 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 no. We started the show with a calc. Adi, um, you have a calc? Yeah, I got one. All right. Okay, I'll think. I'll think I, I can't Adi prepare it. Actually, the one I was gonna do was uh was exactly Nick's calc, except into uh, Iron Hands, which I I had that number ready, and I was like, "Oh, two fifty two HP Rillaboom is about the same bulk as four HP Iron Hands, right?" Turns out. Yep. No, it's his not. dummy trick. Uh, yeah, no. Um, but so I got a new one. Uh, we were talking about lash out and um, why it's a bad move. Uh, let's let's put it to the test. We got we got Tyranitar. It's max attack adamant, um, and it's clicking double powered lash out because a landorus just switched in on it. The landorus is four HP for defense. How much is the uh, is the lash out doing? We got what is our Tyranitar's item? Uh, it's no no boosting item. And That's the landerus. Or, uh, what's the EVs? Four HP, four defense. Okay. Um, I got I got a number. It's two fifty two adamant Titar, right? Two fifty two adamant Titar. I have my number. I got a number. I got a Nails? number. Yeah. Uh, all right, Nels, what's your number? Sixty nine. Nice. Uh, John, what about you? See, I knew someone was going to say that, so I'm picking sixty four. I my number was just a little bit lower than both of you, sixty. But maybe I'm Lashout's biggest hater, and I need to like, get over it. Tyranitar, Terra Flying AV should be fine as long as I max out the attack. Um, Landorus, give me like a scarf set, yeah, four four. Um, Tyranitar doesn't know Lashout currently. Lashout, just Lashout Calc properly. You have to double it. Um. I do have to maybe click the, yeah, you know, doubled. Um, it's like I'm not in there. Um, I think everything's done correctly. Yep. And we're yep. in there with 69. Yep. And, and John Alex is, is in fact Lashout's biggest hater. I am Lashout's biggest hater. I should have said 40. <laughs> it's doing 20%, man. This move sucks. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, man. John, do you have one yet? I still don't. I gotta think. Of I do. Good, good. All right. Picture this. You've set up Aurora Veil in front of everyone's favorite ogre, the fire one. And they are clicking Ivy Cudgel. They're not tearing, though, uh, because they thought they would kill you. Okay. But do they actually kill you? You're 4, four HP, 4 defense. And they Ruby didn't tear fire. And they didn't tear fire. You have snow, obviously. So they have to are go through snow it? and veil. No, um, no, because you got veil up first. So Are they adamant? Um, they're adamant. Okay. Adamant. Fire, adamant. Ogre. Cudgel through screen in snow. Oh, but it's four, mold four. breaker. So. So it doesn't okay. ignore screen or snow. <laughs> well, I mean, twenty five percent of the time it ignores one of them, right? So. True. Uh, um, wait, it's not twenty five. Yeah, it's twelve and a half percent of the time. It's twelve percent. Oh, twelve percent time. Sure. Yeah, come, come on, yeah. bro. Get your crit chances right, man. I okay. Um, so little quick sidebar. I have felt that already. Like, I got a ogre pond to minus one uh, with my landris switch in, and it like water cudgeled me, and I just took a hundred because you know, one in eight times you do take a hundred. Like, I don't know. The mod's pretty all right. I don't think it needed a one in eight crit chance, but here we are. But it has it anyway. It sure has it though. Um, so that's gonna be fun. I, I got think, my number. Um, you got your number. Yeah, I got my number. I got a number too. Okay, start with Alex. Um, I'm gonna go 92. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go 69 again. Uh, it's not Terra Ogre Pond. It's just not that strong. I think. Okay. I am more inclined to Ruth Nick, uh, especially since John made this calc very, very specifically not Max, not making it Terra. So I think it's gonna be about 78. Man, you guys have more faith in this Pokemon. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think this thing's hanging on a thread. Uh, you said it's four uh, four on it's the four, nine four. Yeah. yeah. So you you need the veil up, otherwise you do just die. And then uh, 
the calc. What do you got, Alex? What do you? I'm still you? plugging it all in. Hold on. Oh, okay, um, okay, okay, okay. We got I, some multipliers going. We got to get some rip, stuff going. Adamant. Uh, the Nine Tails does have snow warning up. Um, I think I have everything in there, John. Is it eighty percent to ninety four point six? It sure is. So uh, Alex wins, and you two have too much faith in this Pokemon with base seventy five uh, defense. I Dang. said I did say seventy eight. Give it, give it any bulk. Give it, um, give it ten, eight more bulk investment. And I eight more bulk investment. Okay. <laughs> I might have been used to two fifty two HP nine tails. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just picked like the most frail version of nine tails possible. It's still like, understand. Yeah, no, you're, you're... nine tails. Oh, to be is... fair, you are living. The takeaway everybody needs to realize is that Ninetales is eating well right now. This Pokemon, um, although it's in a metagame where like Torn likes to run Sunny Day and um, whatnot, or even Rain Dance sometimes, um, if it finds itself in like position to set up Hail, the Pokemon is very bulky. It's got a reasonable special defense stat, so as long as it's not taking a Chiyu overheat, um, mm -hmm. I've been running a bit of Ninetales, and like so often, I'll see a um, Fluttermane. Terra Fairy specs Moonblast it, and it just tanks. Um, yep. And so, it's it's really cool. This Pokemon's just eating well right now. Hats off to you, Ninetales. And, uh... Ah, it comes to me. I need a Calc. Alright, let's go to the metagame tab. I'm gonna find one. Let's uh, find a funny Pokemon. He's gonna find his favorite funny Pokemon. Everyone's talking about Como, so I should probably do a Como Calc. Um, and I was thinking about, like, how much just, like... Terra Fairy specs Moonblast. Uh, <laughs> versus, versus no bulk, no Terra Como. Actually, Terra Dragon Como. Let's half the damage. <laughs> Ooh. Why are um, we Terra Dragoning? No, no, no. All right. The calc I wanted to do. Um, I'm just curious, like, how much chip do we need on a Heatran for Como's body press to KO? We haven't gotten a boost up. We just like chipped it with something. It's just, so, it's just raw combo. Um, so it's, that's not the question. I'm going to phrase it normally. But max oh. HP Heatran with four defense versus max defense uh, bold nature or whatever plus defense nature body press Como. Um, mm. It's no boosts. It's just hitting a Heatran. Um, how much chip do I need to get on this thing from full or what attack am I following up with to KO it? Like, you know, like it just because I don't think it's going to Oko. I mean, that's my that's my guess. Following I, up um, with a second body press to kill it. True. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, just a max defense body press from Como into a max HP four defense Heatran. I got an answer. I've got my number. I have a number. All right, let's start with Adi. I think it's doing 75. 75. Stab goes hard. Nick? I'm I'm locking in 69 again. I think All right, you just got to do it. <laughs> like... All the calcs are ending up around 69. It's not his fault. Um, How did I know he's going to pick 69 again? I'm going 70. 70? Oh, shit. All right. Come on. Um, versus Heatran. Let's see what calc default Heatran is. Um, that's a lot of stuff going on. Um, though, most of the same. But I said 252.4. Um, mm -hmm. No, that's not that. Bold nature is the same thing. Um, need an attack. Body press. I think we're done. And, oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is so sad. Oh my god. 69.6. <laughs> To 82. Um, I think Adi, Adi said 75. Yeah, yeah. he did. Uh, so Adi's 70. in there. 70, 70. 70, 70 for 70. John is in there. Yeah, let me be with is unfortunately not in there. Got him. This is so sad. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, near miss. Um, now, I, I, always, I always gotta like underball it because I remember body press is only base 80, which is like. Stab goes hard. Bad, Stab goes hard. But it's like, yeah, no, and, and defense hard. investment goes hard too. Como just, also does have a 125 yeah. defense stat. Like this Pokemon uh, is body pressing like nobody's business. It's uh, it, like, oh, he he do be pressing those bodies though. 
Mm hmm. Because, like, uh, I, I remember Donald was talking about it how, like, all the other body press Pokemon, Iron Defense body press Pokemon from the past, kind of needed to, like, get to plus four to start going. But Como can really start going at plus two. Um, it can do some pretty respectable damage with Stab. Um,. And uh, it's definitely a Pokemon that appreciates Terra, as we've mentioned many before. Uh, yeah, many times before. Anyways. Any Okie dokie body press You've fans? heard about body press, but have you heard about potty press? Uh, potty. Specifically, Adi Media. Oh, true. Sub to his uh, channel. Sub I mean, there is the time to mention that. If you guys weren't able to stick around for the whole thing, or I guess if you got in late um, and you didn't catch the beginning, um, check out the rest of the podcast on... <laughs> On YouTube, um, you know. Also, if you listen to the whole thing, listen to it again there because there was just so many great bits in this episode that you guys were like, "Oh, this is awesome! I need to listen again." Um, uh, honestly, you could turn the volume off and leave it playing, and I'm fine with that too. Like, <laughs> whatever you got to do, just click. Just disable the ad blocker, please. Um, <laughs> click the ads and click the ads and subscribe and uh, pay to the Patreon. Um, okay, that's really mm -hmm. going to be it for us, though. Wait, Next we have a Patreon? Here. No. Next time we have we'll, a uh, membership. He has channel membership, though. Uh, if you want that oh, data, okay, okay. if you want that data audio he was talking about, mm -hmm. turn on loop mode while you're at it. <laughs> um, just keep it going 24-7. And, and by the way, while we are entirely selling out, it is September right now, which means this is the only time that you are legally allowed to subscribe to Top Nation TV. So if you're not subscribed, you're missing There's out. only a couple days left. Great emotes. Only five more days. <laughs> you've got to sub before the month ends. <laughs> um, <laughs> You basically that, throw away money if you don't, really. Um, Adi, That's are you able to, uh, to do the raid? Because I don't have it open right now. Yeah. Um, we're we're going gonna to send you over to, uh, to Master Mark, who is um, you know, playing Pokemon as he does. It looks like he's using a chestnut. So maybe not just a... Is chestnut a legal Another body game? press. Another oh, body yeah, press Pokemon. It was legal. Oh, right. It was. Rajan almost ran it at Worlds. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. So it looks, like, it looks like he's using a chestnut. So, I'm going to send you guys over there. All right. Uh, cool. Appreciate it, everybody. Make sure to say hi. Um, and that'll be it for us. So, uh, peace out, Tub Nation. See ya. So long. Bye for now.